So, uh, Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> where'd you get the coat, dude? <laughs> uh, uh, behind a door in somebody's office. Oh. <laughs> where'd you get the shirt? Well, that was a gift. It looks this like from my closet. <laughs> this is a button down. Button down? Oh, yeah. It's it's a, there's, no, there's, there's no buttons. Oh, yeah. There's a hidden button down. Oh, look at that. He's got to go cool? fancy. He's got to go fancy. button down. Anyway, <laughs> so last week, you may recall, we yeah. made this part, which yeah. came out beautiful. Nice and shiny satin. Yes, it is. Beautiful satin finish. And this week, we're going to do this guy. Remember, we talked about how it's worn and so forth. Sure. So we're going to turn it on a lathe, do all that stuff, do the thread, do the tricky part here, which is this uh, number two brown and sharp taper in here. Okay. And uh, then we're going to grind it. We're going to slip fit it in here. And then the episode after that, we're going to go ahead and start assembling everything. Okay. And show you how we did it. And then we're going to put it on a machine and show you how it works. How it works. Is yeah. that cool? So we're excited about this. This thing was really sloppy in every which way. So. Oh, I remember. I it was all uh, you know. Yeah, you kinda, you, I, I don't even know machines that well, but I could tell right away. Well, you helped take it apart, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, there you yeah. go. So you know about this. Stuff. I can take them apart, put them back together. <laughs> and you're not a mechanic, but we're making no. you one. Yep. You're doing a good job. All right. So we're ready to roll. Let's go sure. to the lathe. All right. We've got the material here already. Okay. Uh, it's sitting back there waiting for us to go. Your lights ready? My light. <laughs> I'm ready, Things man. Things are so bright. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you. Can you see me? No, no. It's blinding. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. Let's go. Right. Well, the first step is to go over to the hone. Uh, remember what we said about this tail sock. This, the hole that's in there was tapered six thousandths. Now, that's an enormous amount of stock to take out of there with a hone. But it had to be done. So, uh, Glenn is over here working on this thing. And you can see it's, it's pretty heavy and it's a little awkward. But... Uh, we were ma we managed to get this baby down within about three or four tenths of, of being straight, which is plenty good. So here we are checking. In fact, you can probably even see it on the on the on the bore gauge a little bit. Yeah, there we go. It's like about yeah, it's within a few tenths here, which is beautiful. So uh, it doesn't have to be that close, but that's great. So now we're over to the lathe again, which I love. I think I mentioned that, and we're going to drill. We've got to drill this through hole. Uh, that shaft is about, as I recall, it's about 14 inches long. So we we can only go through halfway on one side. Now we're going to turn around and go through it on the other side. But before we do that, uh, we want to make sure that we got a center in there for our grinding purposes. And uh, then we're going to start turning the OD down here a little bit. I just love doing that. Isn't that great? Yeah. And now. I measured that because that's where we're going to put our thread, and that's the undercut on the back side for the clearance of the thread. And uh, we used a cutoff tool there with a carbide insert. And I checked it out, and it seems to be pretty deep right there or deep enough. And then we're going to change tools, and we're going to go ahead and chase the thread, which I really love doing. So we had to make sure that we had the right setting on the lathe for the thread. This happens to be uh, 13 threads per inch, which is kind of a, a bastard size for this particular diameter. This diameter usually calls for a 12. So I, I did a test piece first to make sure that I had it right. I didn't want to scrap the part. So you can see here we're taking several cuts and then uh, and we're going to fit it in a moment. I just love uh, cutting threads. It's really cool. And not only is it fun, but when you're all done with it, 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 it gives you something to look at and makes you feel proud that you that you did it. Look at the chip coming out of there. Pretty cool. And I think we're going to take a or close to a final cut there. And we'll be able to take our, uh, I want to file the chamfer on the end so it, uh, it doesn't uh, have a burr there where it's hard to start the nut. And there's a nut that we're going to, look how fast I can do that. Isn't that amazing? I mean, I am amazing. Look, look at that. Look at that. That's called productivity. I mean, I am quick. And I didn't like that. I felt that that was a bit too tight. Because remember, when it goes out to heat treat, it's going to be carburized and hardened. So it's going to swell a little bit. And I felt that that was just a bit too tight. And when we got it back from heat treat, I thought maybe it might not fit. So I did it again. I took a couple thousandths off of it. Look at that. Damn, am I fast. I really like that. Let's see you do that. Glenn, are you watching? I want to see if you can do that. There we go. So now we're going to turn it around. 
And uh, I'm satisfied that we got that done. We're going to face it off here. No big deal. And uh, remember, we're going to go in there and do the same thing. Look how quick I'm working, too. I can't, I can't get over that. Anyway, we're going to center drill. And, of course, we're going to drill. Uh, and remember, uh, we're going to this end, we're going to put a taper in there. We're going to use a taper reamer. But first, we want to make the through hole to we're going to complete the through hole. Remember, we did half the through hole on the other side. Now, this side, we're going to finish it, and uh, which is kind of a pain in the butt because the drill tends to get hot in there, so you got to keep pulling it out and lubricating it. And uh, we skipped a few steps here just to so we didn't bore you to tears. So here we have the reamer uh, that's really a roughing reamer, which I, I really like using. And uh, we're going to take it in to where we think it, it ought to be uh, uh, ought to be the right depth, and that should be coming up here shortly. So there's our fit, and I liked it. So now we're going to take a finish cut with a finish reamer. And there you go. There we lubed it up a little bit, and I'm good with that. So we checked it. Yeah, that's good. So we put a chamfer in here again for the OD grinder, and also to use our live center, uh, which I like to do. So we're going to do that to complete the, the diameter. Uh, and again, we're just taking a rough cut here. And, and I was, you know, I, I got a little frustrated because we just don't have the right tools here. Uh, that happens to be a left-handed tool, and we needed a right-handed tool. Am I thinking about that right? No, that's a right-handed tool. We need a left hand. And I couldn't get in that corner on the left side because we didn't have the right, uh, the right tool, which to me is upsetting because it's something we should be able to have at our fingertips. So anyway, you'll see where we come back here. And because of that, I had to take the undercutting tool and uh, go in there and make a little pocket so the tool that I was using for the OD would fit in there. And so I just took that to size. You know, you got to improvise, right? I took that to size or close to it. Then I can change tools and then I can come in there uh, with, the, uh, with the turning tool and I can make it the same. So we're going to do that here in a second. And I guess I didn't like that for a moment. I didn't like the size there. So we took a few more thousands off. And again, we're going to change tools here. And there you go. So and look how quick I work. I mean, am I fast? Come on. Look at that. I don't mess around here. And I got that lathe humming, man. Look at that drink of water. Thank you very much. Or was that vodka? I don't remember what it was. I think it was water. Anyway, I don't like vodka unless it's really good stuff. And then I'm not a big martini guy either. But anyway, so here I'm just finishing it up and polishing it a little bit. And, and there you go. So that's what it's going to look like. Now we're going to take it over to the next department and uh, we're going to put a slot in it. And then we're going to put some screw holes in the end. So here we are putting a a slot in there and here we are putting some uh, drilled and reamed holes in there for the carbide uh, uh, tips that we're going to put in there which didn't have in the original uh, part but we thought it'd be kind of cool to put it in uh, now that we remade it. And here we are cutting off the carbide tip and just in case you're interested you want to know where the carbide came from well we found an old uh, end mill that was broken and we decided to use that as our sacrificial uh, piece of carbide and uh, we cut off I think five or six of these and right now we we've, we've uh, taken this over to the OD grinder and we've gotten the taper out and we got a good looking part here coming out we know what our size is so we're bringing it down gradually to size so some of you are probably wondering how did we get this concentric with this taper because we didn't really explain that while we before we went to the OD grinder so let me explain how we did it we took this guy which we know is in pretty decent shape we put lapping compound on it. We went in there and we used it for lapping in a lathe. Cleaned it out real good. We took a brand new one that we know is in great shape. We put that in there, tapped it in, and that's how we were able to get it concentric with the OD. We put our driving dog on here that we put in the OD grinder. And now we know that we've got this really concentric and it's probably gonna come out within half thousands or so. For what we're trying to do, it's plenty good. So that's how we did it. All right, Glenn, so here we are, man. All right. Does that look beautiful? That looks great. 
Look at that, so sweet. Isn't that, isn't that cool? Nice and clean. Yep. Nice and clean. So we ground it to size, mm -hmm. and this part's going to fit in there. We're right. going to assemble it. Not now, but we are going to assemble it. Okay. And we put some holes in here, as you can see, for the carbide that we talked about, just like we were doing on the cap. Okay. So we got little carbide nibs right here. Oh, wow. Pretty tiny, right? A little tiny. But they're going to drop in here, like so. And again, that's just going to help prevent these parts from getting ground up again. Okay. And uh, so next week, we'll be back for the final assembly. Cool. And we're excited about doing that and showing you how it's going to work. So, by the way, thanks for your comments and questions. And stay tuned for next week when we do the final assembly. So, thanks for watching.